up folks, TechSec Pro with a new one. In this video tutorial, I'm gonna teach you how to jailbreak your PlayStation 4 in order to install and play copy versions of the game's so-called fake packages. This video is split into four parts. Part 1. Introduction of jailbreak and technical terms. Part 2 is jailbreaking process and setting up. Part 3 is installation of fake package game from hard disk drive. And eventually part 4 is about the gameplay of installed game. Jailbreaking term simply means removing restrictions from the system software of PS4 to install and backup games from and to USB hard disk drive. It's just the beginning and you can do a lot with your jailbroken PS4 such as running PlayStation 1 and PlayStation 2 games, running Linux operating system and transfer your console to personal computer. You unleash the power of your PS4 to your own benefits and set it free from the jail. That's why it is called jailbreak. To jailbreak your PS4, you need three things. The jailbreak ready system software version, the kernel exploit, and eventually the webkit. The exploit simply means that the codes developed by developers to penetrate system software and remove the official limitations, restrictions, and permissions. The webkit is a bundle of tools with the name of payloads that could be injected by the PS4 built-in web browser to the kernel of the system software because technically devs used the box of web browser to penetrate the kernel and core of system software and that's how we can play those fake package games on jailbroken PS4. There are only a few system software versions, so to say firmwares, which are exploited together with webkits by developers to jailbreak up to now, such as 5.05, 6.72, 7.50, 7.51, and eventually 7.55. I'll show you where to check your console system software in order to realize whether your PS4 is jailbreak ready or not later on this video tutorial. Keep in your mind that you can always upgrade the system software to the new one but can downgrade it to the lower version at all even if you replace the hard disk drive with the brand new one because the firmware version of last system software of your console is written on special chipset on the motherboard and can't be changed or modified by users yet. It might happen in upcoming future thanks to the developers, who knows, hopefully. Unfortunately, people who are on different system software ain't able to jailbreak, but not mention the developing new exploits plus webkits for new system software never stops. So if you're on upper version than the latest exploit one, you better just hold your horses and not to upgrade your console till the next exploit is ready and public by devs. Okie doke, enough of talking, let's just do it. Log into your local account of your PS4. Let's teach you how to find out your current system software version. Go to Settings. Scroll down till you reach System. Enter System and System Information. As you can see, my console system software version is 5.05, so this means my PS4 is jailbreak ready and I never updated to the new version. FYI, the latest system software version for PlayStation 4 is 8.50 at the moment that I'm recording this video tutorial. Okay, get back to the previous menu. The last item in the list is initialization. When I jailbreak my PS4, an extra item with the name of debug settings will be added below this one and it's considered as the jailbreaking sign. There are a lot of jailbreaking methods like online, offline, and even by your cell phone. The easiest and quick one is online one, which I'm gonna cover it right now. So to do this, first, I have to connect the console to the internet by going to settings and network. Connecting it to my Wi-Fi router and check if it is connected by obtaining the IP address from my DSL router, which is connected successfully and ready to do now. Let's get back to the dashboard. I already installed some fake package games and I want to show how do they act up if the console is not jailbroken yet. Pay attention to the lock sign, lower right the game's thumbnail, which is representing that this game is not playable unless you exploit the kernel. I already installed these games while my console was jailbroken but now it is not and I'll do it after I put you in the picture. Let's run Streets of Rage 4. It says, you must upgrade it to 7.00 or later while mine is 5.05, so it's not playable. 
or Call of Duty Modern Warfare, which needs 6.50 or later, or this one, by Common Blitz, which says you need to purchase it from the PlayStation Store, or Resident Evil Revelations 2, this is a message you gotta purchase, cause you got the point enough. Now, time to jailbreak and make them all playable, then I'll teach you how to install and run the new fake package games as well. Okay, go to web browser. Press the options on controller to get the browser menu. Go to settings. Delete cookies. Okay. Clear website data. Okay. Get back to the main page of web browser again. Type this URL. HTTPS columns double forward slash wrozen.github.io forward slash phwor forward slash index.html then press the go button. This goes to the host menu created by Leafful Developer. Wait till it starts to cache the whole page on PlayStation hard drive. Then we don't need internet to load this webkit anymore after the caching is finished. Alright, now it's completely cached. Close it by PS button on DualShock controller. Get back to settings. Network. Then uncheck this box to disconnect the console from the internet cause from now on it has to be left off the grid. Get back to dashboard. Settings. As you can see the debug settings is not here yet cause we haven't jailbroken it yet. Get back to the web browser again. Gold hand is the first choice. This is the payload which injects itself to the system software and runs some codes in order to explore the kernel to jailbreak the PlayStation 4. To do this, just push the cross button on the controller to execute gold hand payload. Okay, I push it. It is injecting. That's it guys. When you see this notification, Gold Hand version 1.1 is loaded, then you successfully injected the hand and console is jailbroken now. Congratulations. So from now on, I can run those locked games that I already showed you and install the new games on my console without a single problem. Close the web browser by PS button. Get back to WebKit again to block the system software updates in order to prevent the console from receiving the latest system software from Sony servers. Cause as I mentioned, you are not able to downgrade your console to the lower version and if your PS4 receives the update, you won't be able to jailbreak it again at all. Go to System Tools too. Then hit on Disable Updates. I already did it and no need to do this twice, cause once is definitely enough. So make sure that you do it on yours guys, cause it's really vital. Disabling updates is useful when you want to jailbreak your console online like this one that I'm teaching you. Console tries to receive the latest system software but this payload doesn't allow it. Then console gives you the message, cannot update the system software. Alright, exit it. Let's check if we have debug settings added to the list or not. Go to settings, scroll down, and here we go. Debug settings, which means we successfully jailbroke the PlayStation 4. Super cool. Okay, let's test if we can play games that were already locked or not. I run Streets of Rage 4 again. And that's it. Works like a charm. Awesome. Let's call you a time traveler. And I'm slapping you to the middle of next week.
Okay, another thing you need to do is to disable updates from the PlayStation settings as well. Go to System. Automatic Downloads. Make sure all of these boxes are unchecked. Featured Content. System Software Update Files. Application Update Files. That's great. Now we're all set. Always double check if the network is disconnected. Nice. Alright, now it's time for installing the game on my jailbroken console. First off, you need to download fake package games on the internet with the file extension of the PKG. There are a lot of websites that you can download PS4 fake package games from them on the internet. I already downloaded the Tekken 7 and copied it on my external hard disk drive, but keep it in your mind that the hard disk drive file system must be formatted with the XFAT in order to be recognized by PS4. So I connect the hard disk drive to USB port on console, then I go to settings, debug settings, game, package installer, and here is my game with the PKG extension. There are two files. The first one is game itself and the second one is the patch or update of the game. So I hit on install all and let the PS4 install them respectively. Wait till installation is finished. Great. Now it's installed and ready to play. Get back to dashboard. Here it is. Let's run and play it. As you can see, game is playable right now, and this is the part 4 of this demonstration, which is gameplay. Welcome to the King of Iron Fist Tournament 7, Katarina Alves. Get ready for the next battle. battle. Round one, fight. <laughs> Get ready for the next battle. battle. Vamos lá. Eu vou chutar sua bunda até o inferno. Round one, fight. <laughs> Round 
two. Fight. Yeah. Get ready for the next battle. battle, battle, battle. Deixa eu te testar para ver se você luta de verdade. Round one. Fight. Yeah. 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 Cute. Hmm. Hmm. Round one. Fight. <laughs> Round two, fight. <laughs> Round one. Fight. <laughs> Thank you. 
Round two. Fight. <laughs> You win. <laughs>